All right, so we have our first route defined for slash dog. We see the dog component showing up. Great, let's define a couple of other routes so we can use contact and about. So right now we don't have anything showing up when we just go to localhost 3000, it's empty. So let's put the about component there. So the path is just slash, we call that the root route and we'll render about and then we'll do contact for slash contact. So what do you think will happen? If I go to localhost 3000, we see about, that makes sense. How about when I go to slash dog? Hmm. So we are seeing the dog component, but we're also seeing the about component. If we go to slash contact, same problem. Contact is showing up, but so is about. The way that the matching works on routing by default in React Router is that it's inclusive. It, um, it wants to match as many things as possible. So it's going to look for any route that starts with a slash at the beginning. This is not saying only the exact path slash. Instead, it's matching anything that starts with a slash. So when we visit slash dog, first we're matching this route and we're getting the about component. And then this route is also matching slash dog. And if we even had another route like this, let's do slash dog slash hater component. Uh, I'm gonna make a new component, a functional component, which we haven't seen in a very long time. There we go. So this component just returns an h1 that says, I absolutely hate dogs. It has no state, it has no constructor, no methods, that's it. Okay, so we're going to display that component if we visit slash dog slash hater. So now if we go to slash dog slash hater, what do you know? We see about, we see dog, and we see I absolutely hate dogs. So there are two things I'm going to introduce in this video. The first one is a component we can import called switch. So switch comes from React Router DOM and we wrap it around routes and we'll use it all the time. And what it will do is make sure that only one of these routes matches. So it's like a switch statement in JavaScript where you're comparing one thing to multiple conditions and one of them is going to be true. So only one of these components will actually show up for us, whichever path is matched first. So the order does matter. And with what we have right now, this isn't really going to fix our problem because we're putting path equals slash first and every route we visit is going to start with a slash. So now if we go to slash dog, we see about. We go to slash anything, we're going to see about. If we go to slash contact, it's the same story. So we fix the problem of rendering multiple components because we were matching multiple times, but this is not really what we want. So we have a couple of choices. You can get very specific about the ordering. So we could put slash contact first like this, and then slash dog slash hater, and then slash dog, and then finally slash. So now if we go to slash contact, that's the first thing that matches. So it doesn't even have a chance to match the root route. If I go to slash dog slash hater, it matches that right here. It doesn't have a chance to match slash dog, even though it does start with slash dog. So if I put that one first, now when we visit slash dog slash hater, we see the dog component. As you can see, we can worry a lot about the order and we need to if we wanna make sure that we're not matching other routes accidentally. But there's an additional piece of information we can pass to a route, an additional property called exact. So I'm gonna undo all of this order and go back to what we had before. Because I'd like to order my routes like this, where we have the most or the least uh, specific at the top, and then we group them, things that start with slash dog, and then maybe after this we would have slash contact, slash user, whatever the other routes are. But as we've already seen, this doesn't work. We're always matching this. So if we pass in this other property called exact, exact says this only counts as a match if it's exactly slash. So no longer slash dog or slash hello, those won't work anymore. Instead, if I go to slash dog, 
I only see the dog if I go to slash contact, whereas before I was seeing about. But we still have the problem of slash dog slash hater. Right? Because slash dog is coming before slash dog slash hater. So when we visit this path, it is matching here first because all that the route cares about is does it start with slash dog? If it does, component is dog. So we can also make this one exact. And as a general rule of thumb, I make all of my routes exact unless I have a reason not to. And then I also put them in a switch because we usually only want one thing to render, one component to show up uh, per route. We usually don't match multiple routes. There definitely are situations where you wouldn't use a switch. And honestly, in this situation, we can get away without a switch because these are all exact routes. Only one of these is going to match. So if we go to slash dog slash hater, it still works. If we go to slash dog, it works. Go to slash contact. And then finally we go to slash, we get the about page. So in conclusion, when you put exact in a route, it means that it has to be an exact match. The path has to match exactly the string right here. It's not going to match something that starts with a slash and then has something else, or it starts with dog and then has slash hello. Then we also saw the switch component, which we use to wrap around our routes. And what that does is it limits us to one match in this group. And that might seem redundant here because we just saw we can get away without using it. We're only going to match one of these, but there are situations where it will help you, especially around nested routes and more complicated routing where we have patterns that we're trying to match. So I like to always use a switch unless I know that I am okay with more than one route matching. And I like to use exact all the time unless I know that I don't need exact. And I think this will make more sense later, but for now we'll just stick to the rule. Switch, exact, they go hand in hand. It's just nice to use them together. We don't have to stress about the order inside of the switch. That's all I'll say.